Hello, everyone. Nice to see you. Um, my name's Anthony. Uh, I am a student and alumni community manager at uh, BIM Institute. We are um, Europe's leading provider of modern music education um, with eight colleges in Brighton, Bristol, Birmingham, Manchester, London, Dublin, Berlin, and Hamburg. And we also incorporate a screen and film school and uh, Institute of Contemporary Theatre. So um, I'm here today with a talk called Launching BIM Connect that I've subtitled Understanding Your Audience. Now, there may be at least one of you in the audience thinking, how is this tattooed man bun going to tell you <laughs> how to understand your audience? Okay, well, um, don't worry, I'm not going to, okay? Um, what I'd like to do is tell you a little bit about how um, BIM have tried to understand our audience as um, our BIM Connect platform transitions on to graduate. So, uh, a little bit more information about me. Um, uh, I started playing bass guitar at a very young age, and then my BIM journey started when I applied uh, to study at the college when it first opened in Brighton in 2002 with uh, 150 inaugural students. Uh, after graduating uh, and working for a couple of years, I then applied for an admissions assistant position back at BIM, where I started work in 2008. Uh, if you fast forward uh, to about February 2018, so 10 years have gone by, um, a lot has changed. BIM now has its eight colleges. It's got over 7,000 students. It's got thousands more alumni. Um, you know, I've uh, worked to help establish five out of the eight colleges that we have, as well as continuing to have a career in music as a performer, booking agent, journalist, and uh, mer uh, merchandise designer. Okay. Um, and I'm telling you all of this it's because that's when I then came to work with BIM Connect. And what I wanted to do was to take all of this experience um, and, and sort of work in this field to try and provide our community with a platform that they could really, really be proud of. Um, and with that in mind, what I'd like to do now is just show you a really, really short promotional video that we made, um, which really highlights um, what this whole thing, what BIM Connect, BIM, and what music uh, means to me. So that was a promotional video we actually made to launch BIM Connect onto the Graduate platform um, as part of our community engagement that we'll look at in a bit. Um, but BIM Connect as a site had already been running for about four years, not with Graduate, but with uh, a, a different site provider uh, when I came to work on the project. And previous to that, I'd been working on a project to do with student digital experience. So uh, essentially trying to provide our students with something they've been asking for, uh, which was a mobile phone app. And after a lot of project work, uh, we came to the idea that BIM Connect could actually be our solution. Okay? It already existed. Um, the company that provided the website said they would um, develop and deliver us a mobile phone app and various bespoke functions to the site as well. And it fitted within our budget criteria. Um, so what we wanted to do before we just went ahead and did it was make sure that we understood the audience we were going to be promoting this product to so that they bought in with it more uh, and we really, really got their feedback. So we decided to start asking some questions. And it's, it's important to kind of distinguish that the audience we're mainly talking to at this point is our current students. You know, what did they want to gain from BIM Connect and especially what did they want from its mobile version? Um, you know, we believed and, and still believe that something that's been said at this, uh, this event a lot, actually, that 
our current students are really, really key to this, you know, getting them on board with our platform and providing them with something they can get a lot out of uh, will really, really pay off in the future. You know, when they graduate, three to five years, they become our champions for the website and concurrently the alumni service will continue to grow and expand. Uh, we also have on our old site uh, an existing community of 1,816 registered members. Okay, so these are all alumni, and they're predominantly Brighton-based as well, because Brighton is kind of where everything generally tends to start um, at BIM. So we didn't want to neglect these guys as an audience either. So to try and understand them better, uh, we started holding student focus groups. We went around to every single one of our colleges and got in front of students and did demos and showed them the product. Um, we issued online surveys to our students and to our alumni. We looked at our uh, NSS and our Delhi survey results, basically trying to talk to as many people as possible uh, to get their points of view. Okay? Uh, and this is what they told us they wanted. So jobs, uh, contacts, collaboration, um, so for us, that, a lot of that is to do with finding bandmates, for example. Uh, and of course, what they wanted was a mobile app. So this period of research kind of backed up our initial idea to use BIM Connect as our solution. And we were set and we were ready to go. The company providing the site were going to develop an app for us. And it was all going to be launched to our uh, student community at enrollment in 2018. And then everything went quiet. And then we got an email, which is even worse, okay? Um, our uh, platform provider, instead of developing an app, announced to us that they'd sold their website and their company to... <laughs> now, who are graduate? Do you know what I mean? That's what we were asking at the time. But it became very, very apparent very quickly, as you all know and as I found out, that graduate are actually awesome, okay? Um, especially, can I just say, Sam Crown and Kim Farber for putting up with all my questions and at times just total stupidity. I'm really, really grateful. So maybe actually we could have a round of applause for these guys. They're the reason we're here today. So, no. um, Commission, right? No. Uh, <laughs> um, so we, we had more uh, project development, some more meetings, etc. Um, and came to realise that actually what Graduate offered would really suit our needs. You know, the site could do a lot more, the same function and a lot more that the old platform could. Uh, there was a mobile app already uh, attached to the product. You know, we were sold on, on Graduate as a site and as a platform. The problem that we had was that we'd run out of time to transition onto Graduate and launch this product to our incoming students, you know, in October 2018. So we made the decision to onboard the students on the old platform as it was, uh, and we set ourselves a transition date with Graduate for the end of the academic year, so 10th of June 2019. And we'd lead up from enrolment to this date with promotion and marketing to try and get people on board. Um, so, come April 2019, so we've, we've done just that, we've put all our current students on the old site, and we ended up with uh, these statistics after several months. So, we've onboarded 3,854 current students, but if you look at the difference between the number of site members and the number of what we've determined as active users, you'll notice there's obviously quite a big big difference in those two numbers, okay? And uh, we feel that that is because a lot of the current students who had signed up were disengaging with the site because it hadn't delivered what was promised, essentially. You know, we'd spoken to a lot of these people in our prior research, and they didn't have the app, and they didn't have the site that they wanted. So we highlighted that as a challenge. Um, and then also we thought, well, how can we drive this forward? We're going on to graduate in a couple of months. We need to set ourselves some targets. So we took, essentially, the number of active users on our old site and set a target number of 1,400 uh, registrations over to graduate before we started our enrollment of current students in 2019. Okay, so this is essentially a number of people we wanted to get from the old site to the new. You know, there's almost 1,400 people, around 1,400 people who seem engaged, so we'll sign them over first. And then, uh, at enrolment, we'd onboard as many current students as possible uh, again on, on the new site. Okay? So, we threw everything that we had at it. You know, uh, we're quite lucky. Everyone at our college is a musician or wants to work in the music industry. So, 
you know, we kind of approached it as if we would any, any music promotion, if we were promoting an album or a band or any other thing that, that we would do to this audience. You know, we had our posters and flyer campaigns. We had in-college TV screen ads. Uh, we had online campaigns based around video content, you know, promotional videos, user guide material, the music is video that I showed earlier. Um, we posted on our socials. We had email campaigns. And we also used the old site as much as possible to shout, you know, this change is coming and this is the information that you need. Uh, and then on the 10th of June, our new amazing graduate website went live. And to be completely honest with you, for me, uh, it was a little bit disappointing to begin with. Okay, I'd been working on this transition for months, putting together all of this promotional material uh, and getting out there as much as possible. And, you know, I kind of got it in my head that 1,400 people were just going to sign up on day one and start using the site. You know, I'd assumed that that would happen. Uh, and that was obviously a mistake, you know. But at that point, I started to really question myself. I was like, do I actually understand the audience that I'm promoting to? Uh, and do they actually see value in the service that we're trying to provide? You know, and those are very important questions for me now from this experience moving forwards. Um, but as time went on, uh, slowly things started to happen. People started to register onto the site. Uh, by the time we got to our enrolment in 2019, we had registered over 1,100 people from our old platform. So 300 short of our target. But it became very apparent that that was actually a very big success for us. So the next step is then to get out uh, from the online campaigns and go and actually go face to face with our audience, our students who are enrolling in October 2019 basically take all that video content and show it to as many people as possible on stage, at events, induction events, in classrooms, in common rooms, um, IT inductions, basically anywhere that we could show it to get people interested and ask them to register. You know, we haven't made the site mandatory for our students because we feel that for our HE uh, delivery, if we made it compulsory, it would cease to have value as something that they wanted to be on. So the idea was to promote it and see if they wanted to sign up. And so... This is what we showed them. Hi, I'm Anthony, here to introduce you to BIM Connect, the free online platform for our whole BIM community. BIM Connect is home to Europe's largest community of music students and graduates. This remarkable group of talented, inspiring and accomplished individuals is available online for you to network with, alongside a jobs board, an events page including masterclasses and gigs, a groups page for various topics in your creative work, resources aimed at getting you the right information that you need when needed, exclusive content and events for both students and alumni, and contact with your local careers and industry teams and other staff and faculty. Platform also allows you to reach out to other members for advice. So, for example, if you wanted to set up a business or get experience in a certain field, you can connect with an alumnus who has already done the same or similar and get invaluable real world advice from someone who knows exactly what they're talking about from a similar perspective as your own. At BIM, we really understand the importance of collaboration in the music and creative industries, that building contacts and networks is the key to success. This is what sets BIM apart from other music colleges and universities. The opportunity that our students and alumni have to connect with like-minded musicians and talented creative people across our colleges in key creative European cities. Connecting with the whole BIM community has never been easier and as a BIM student or alumni you get access to the service for life. So post gigs, talk to people, set up groups, network, seek advice, be part of something bigger, connect with BIM Connect. Thank you. Okay, so um, my first report after the enrolments on the 18th of October 2019. These are our statistics. I know it's just a load of old numbers, but we will go at some highlights. Um, so over here you'll see that we have basically registered 2,522 people onto the platform. So on top of the 1,100 people who transitioned from the old site to the new, we've now onboarded 1,422 current students. Predominantly, they were first-year students. You know, interestingly, our second and third-year returning students were really, really sceptical because a lot of them had disengaged with the old site. So that's definitely a challenge for us uh, moving forwards. 
Um, you'll notice over here that the number of alumni users is, is lower than it used to be. It's now 630. Um, but the alumni who did transition were starting to get more and more involved. We had um, ambassadors uh, on the site already. We've got people who are actively seeking advice relationships, which is what we've called mentoring. Um, they're providing content, top five tip videos, initiatives designed to basically engage the students but keep the alum alumni interested at the same time. And the other uh, success uh, shown here is that we now have our community represented across all eight of our campuses as well. So every single city is represented. So in this whole process, I've learned something that I think is very valuable. Okay? Understanding your audience is never finished. Okay? Understanding your audience is a constantly evolving and permanently current project, okay? Um, I've also learned that no matter what my background and experience, I can't expect to understand the needs of anybody unless I ask them first, all right? And also, despite music being our focus, really, there is no single audience, okay? Every single person is an individual with their own opinions, definitely, their own points of view. Uh, you know, there are common themes, but there will always be new ideas that come out of talking to your audience and asking them what they want, okay? So that's what we need to keep asking. Essentially, what do you want? Uh, and obviously, if we can provide it, then we will. And if we can't, then we'll find a solution. But we'll never stop asking that question, okay? I think for us, the challenge now is to continue to build the trust and engagement uh, in the platform by asking this question and responding with, uh, you know, solutions and training, content and communication, so that our platform becomes something our community can really benefit from, um, but also so that they can see why we're so invested in understanding them. Um, so I'd like to thank my colleagues David O'Connor and Mel Thornton for their help and focus with this project, and I'd also like to thank all of you for listening. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks, Ben. Anybody want to hire Anthony as their spokesperson for their guy? <laughs> he was phenomenal on the video. It was well done. Thanks. The whole presentation was great. A couple questions, and then we're going to move on to our last presenter, and we're mic'd up. Ready to go? Good. Any questions? There's a back there, Jane. Hello. Hello. Um, uh, Lorna from Salford University. I noticed that you said that you've got staff and academics on there, and I just wondered in what ways they're using the platform to engage and, and, and how they use it. Yeah, okay. So, um, predominantly from an engagement level, we have career and industry teams based in each one of our colleges, and then we have a group team who kind of works alongside them. And really, for our current students, it's the local careers teams that are. Uh, responsible really for engaging the students okay so running various programs getting the students to use it to post their events all this kind of stuff so that's they're on there as staff faculty um, but then also all of our tutors can sign up for it and um, for example one of the reasons we renamed mentoring to advice is because we already do in-class mentoring programs so we didn't want to confuse the two but our students can uh, engage with our tutors on the platform, message them, ask questions, and the tutors can also run their own groups for their classes and their mentoring groups on there as well. So um, the way we've approached it with every affiliation is go, here's the tools, what can you do with it, really? So it's kind of in their hands a little bit as well, you know. from uh, RJ Skilford um, uh, Independent School. Um, that was great, thank you. If you could have done one thing differently, what <laughs> would it have been? Whew, I don't think there is just one thing. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm quite fortunate now, to be honest with you, that we've, we've kind of done all this stuff, and to be honest, with the changes, everything was quite reactive. Uh, I was having this conversation with a couple of people earlier. Um, I think... Um, I think going with graduate from the start, let's use that as our answer. Yeah, just an easy get out answer, I know, but there we go, do that. <laughs> cool. All right, one, one more round of applause for Anthony. Cool. So well done. Thank you.